Hi guys, my name is Chloe, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing the Heather's book tag. So it feels like a while since I've been filming and I think it has been. I have been struggling a little bit with video ideas. I had quite a busy Easter, um, some time off with friends which was lovely and one of the things that we did do was go and see Heather's. We got to see the Heather's tour and it was amazing. So I figured this was a good tag to do and it was actually quite a difficult one when I came to attempt it. So now this tag is quite special actually because it was created by Carrie Hope Fletcher and she was the original Veronica for the UK West End cast. So that was very exciting and yeah I remember seeing her video when it came out I was like I would like to do that when I eventually start a booktube and I have a booktube account now. So let's get into it. So the first prompt is beautiful the prettiest book cover in your collection and this one was really really difficult for me i love collecting beautiful books and special edition books so it did take me quite a long time to think of an answer for this one and this still i don't think is like my absolute favorite it changes all the time but at the minute i think with spring and everything i was drawn to once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber this is the fairy loot edition that i received in one of the boxes so it has this gorgeous pink cover with the knights on front and some gorgeous sprayed edges there. And then the naked hardback is beautiful as well. So it has this gorgeous pink foiling on the front there, on the spine and on the back. And it just looks like a book straight out of a fairy tale. So I think I have to go for this one, especially since I'm still super excited to read it. So the next prompt is Fight For Me, a character that is loyal until the end. And for this one, I have to go with one of my all time favorite characters. And this is Jem Carstairs by, um, from the Infernal Devices. I've just picked up the Clockwork Prince cause he's featured on the front of this one. But yeah, Jem Carstairs is one of the three main characters in this book. And he's just one of the most loyal people I've come across in books. He will do absolutely anything for Will and Tessa and the rest of the shadow hunters that he live that he lives with and yeah he also crops up in some of the other shadow hunter series as well and it's always a joy when i get to see him so i'm gonna choose gem Carstairs. the next prompt is dead girl walking the steamiest book you've ever read and for this one again tricky um i read a lot of steamy romances so it was really hard to choose one so i've just gone with one of my favorites and this is birthday girl by penelope douglas i chose this one primarily because i love how slow burny this book is. The steamy scenes are just that much better because the tension and everything before, it just builds up and just makes it that whole lot better. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. The next prompt is the me inside of me, a book that made you feel less alone. And for this one, I'm gonna go And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, which is a bit of a strange one, uh, that I've chosen a murder mystery as sort of like a comfort, cuddly sort of book in a way. Uh, but this one I did read for the first time actually quite a while ago when my partner was in university and he would often read bits of books to me that's something that we did in the evenings to like spend some time with each other and this was one of the ones that he read to me and it has now since become like my favourite all time murder mystery slash thriller and it kickstarted my love um, for Agatha Christie so it is a really special book and whenever I read of it I always think back to that time so yeah it's gonna go for and then the one then. The next prompt is You're Welcome, a book where someone gets their comeuppance, I think that's how you pronounce that word and this one took me absolutely ages to think of like I really couldn't think of anything where I was just so glad that someone got absolutely ruined and then I just went back to one of the series that I've read recently this year and that is the A Good Girl Guide to Murder series and for this one I'm going to be choosing As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson so this is the third and final book in the trilogy at the moment and in this book we not only get to see one person uh, get absolutely destroyed I think it's two if I remember correctly and I can't say too much more because it's spoilers not just for this book for the whole series in a way but I have to go with this book and it's a great series so if you haven't read it definitely pick it up. The next prompt is Never Shut Up Again, a book where someone has a mic drop moment and this one probably took me the longest to answer out of all these prompts. I really just couldn't think of anything. My memory is dreadful 
but one of the moments that has stood out since I read it maybe 10, 10 or more years ago, maybe more now, um, was a moment um, from The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And I think there are several parts in this. I think Katniss Everdeen has several mic drop moments, not really in a way that she says like massive speeches. Well, not in this book anyway. I think she does later in maybe Mockingjay. But in this moment, all I can think of is her flaming dress scene um, when she's um, talking um, to the rest of the capital and then the parade where her suit also goes on fire. I think those two moments alone are worthy mic drop moments and so I'm gonna go with those from The Hunger Games. The next prompt is Our Love is God, a moment in a book where two people have their perfect moment right before shit hits the fan. And for this one I'm gonna go with one of my favourite romances and this is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Now it's been a good while since I've read this book so I don't remember the details exactly but in this book um, Adam and Olive finally get together in a hotel and they sleep together for the first time, it's great, it's amazing and then the next day there's some drama, things go down and they are close to breaking up. Um, I, like I said, don't remember the details and I don't want to say too much more anyway even if I did because of spoilers but yeah, I just remember that's one of the big things that happens in this book and so I'm going with this one. The next prompt is My Dead Gay Son, a book where parents accept their kids exactly as they are and for this one I'm going with another recent read and this one is Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. Now I think Amari has just one of the best mums ever, she is so accepting of Amari and absolutely everything she does while still like telling her off when she needs to be, when she's being a little bit mischievous. So Amari's mum is always there for her when she's being bullied at school, but she's also there when she finds out that Amari is actually involved with this supernatural agency and she's just so supportive and not angry about that at all. And yeah, I think they just have one of the best um, parent-daughter relationships that I've read, so going with this one. The next prompt is I Say No. A book where someone stands up for themselves and this one was tricky as well. I think to be honest there's probably lots of books that I've read where characters stand up for themselves. It's quite common in fantasy, YA fantasy especially. Uh, this one isn't YA fantasy but I have chosen Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo and I just just really because Alex Stern is constantly standing up for herself but also the people she's close to when she gets the chance to, like she's standing up to the higher ups at her university, she's standing up to the other students for being absolutely awful, she just spends so much of her time standing up for herself and I got to reread this one recently and it's a great book so why not? And the last prompt, prompt number 10, is Kindergarten Boyfriend and this is a character who is hopeful against all odds and for this one I think I have to give it to Ty Blackthorn from The Dark Artifices and more specifically uh, Queen of Air and Darkness. I can't say too much about the situation because it's really really spoilery for the series and the events that happen um, towards the end of this series so I can't say too much but Ty is just the sweetest little character and he just works so hard not only for himself but everyone around him and once he sets himself on a goal he will do anything to complete that and yeah he's just so hopeful and that he will achieve all his goals even if they're impossible or like well I like to think of him as someone who would call them improbable like most people just can't be bothered to do them but he's gonna go out of his way and do them because he cares about that and he will so yeah I have to give it to Ty Blackthorn and I hope we get to see him in the other Shadowhunter series as well when they're written because yeah he's he's grown on me and he's one of my favorite Shadowhunter characters so that was it those were all the prompts in the heather's book tag this was yeah really challenging but really fun to do i have missed doing random tags in here and there um so i might have to do a few more i do like um choosing books based on themes and things i think it's really fun um yeah so it's just been great and been nice to be filming again because yeah i have missed it um but anyway, let me know down below if you've read any of these books and if you did, what did you think? But as always, I hope you are enjoying your current reads and I will see you in the next one. Bye!